In this video, we are introducing the knowledge about RNA viruses triggered signal pathway. In part 1, we briefly discuss the relationship between viruses and diseases. A virus is a small infectious agent that replicates only inside the living cells of other organisms. Viruses can infect all types of life forms. Viruses are divided into RNA viruses, DNA viruses, and retroviruses. Nucleic acid of RNA viruses is single-stranded RNA, or double-stranded RNA. Many human diseases are caused by RNA viruses. Include influenza, the common cold, hepatitis C, SARS, Ebola hemorrhagic fever, West Nile fever, polio and so on. Part 2. Resistance of Virus Infection It is very important for organism of virus killing and disease prevention by antiviral response. Immunity is the capability of multicellular organisms to resist harmful microorganisms from entering it. An immune system may contain innate and adaptive components. The innate system in mammalians for example is composed of primitive bone marrow cells that are programmed to recognize foreign substances and react. The adaptive system is composed of more advanced lymphatic cells that are programmed to recognize self-substances and don't react. In part 3, we gonna introduce one of the most important part, virus recognition. Cells of the innate immune system detect viral infection, largely through germline encoded pattern recognition receptors present, either on the cell surface, or within distinct intracellular compartments. DNA viruses are recognized by GIS and TLR9. Cytosolate DNA induces interferons through the production of cyclic GMPM, or GAMP, which binds to and activates the adapter protein sting. In both humans and mice, TLR9 is highly expressed in PDCS, innate cells renowned for their ability to rapidly produce large amounts of type 1 interferon. TLR9 responds to the unmethylated deoxycytidylate phosphate deoxyguanylate motifs in viral and bacterial DNA. Not surprisingly TLR9 has been shown to play a crucial role in infections caused by a number of DNA viruses. RNA viruses are recognized by RLRS protein family. RLR family proteins are made up of a C-terminal regulatory domain, a central dead box helicase slash PIS domain, and two N-terminal caspus recruitment domains. They recognize the genomic RNA like DSRNA viruses, or DSRNA produced by the replication intermediate of SSRNA viruses. RLRS are localized in the cytoplasm. Virus infection or type 1 interferon stimulation can greatly enhance the expression of RLRS. RIGI, MDA5, and LGP2 are belong to the RLR family. Their protein structures are kind of different, LGP2 lacks a card domain. RIGI and MDA5 recognize different kind of RNA viruses. RIGI deficiency cells like CDCS and mouse fibroblasts cannot produce type 1 ifns and inflammatory cytokines effectively in response to many RNA viruses. These RNA viruses include Sende virus, vesicular stomatitis virus, Japanese encephalitis virus, Newcastle disease virus, influenza virus and so on. To the contrary, MDA5 deficiency cells can respond normally to the RNA viruses above. However, MDA5 deficiency cells lack the IFN responses to several picornaviridae, like Mango virus, Thylers virus, and Encephalomyocarditis virus, 
while rig eye knockout cells are not lacking. Short DSRNA is recognized by rig eye, and the type 1 ifn inducing activity is greatly enhanced by the presence of its 5 single quotriphosphate. It has been assumed that rig eye ligand is 5 single quotriphosphate SSRNA produced in vitro. However, Rig I was not stimulated by chemically synthesized 5 single quotriphosphate SSRNA. It means that E activation of Rig I needs double stranded RNA. The presence of DSRNA is critical for Rig I recognition. Differ from Rig I, MDA5 detects long DSRNA like poly I. CMDA5 knockout mice show strongly reduced production of type 1 IFNs. But not Illinois 12 in response to poly I, C stimulation in vivo. Poly I, C become a rig I ligand from an MDA5 ligand. By cutting down the length of the poly I, C by DSRNA specific nuclease. It is indicated that long, but not short, DSRNA is recognized by MDA5. The other member of RLR family LGP2 lacks a card domain. In vitro studies suggested that LGP2 is a negative regulator of rig I and MDA5 signaling. LGP2 can isolate DSRNA and inhibit rig I conformational changes. However, the in vivo studies of LGP2 knockout mice indicated that LGP2 positively regulates both rig I and MDA5 mediated production of type 1 IFNs. Nevertheless, LGP2 is dispensable for type 1 IFN production after stimulation by synthetic RNAs. Part 4 We are going to introduce critical adapter MAVES. Recent studies have identified a card domain containing protein that acts downstream of rig I. This protein, independently identified by four different groups, has been called MAVES, IPS1, Visa and Cardiff. Besides the N-terminal card domain, MAVES also contains a prolin-rich region and a C-terminal hydrophobic transmembrane region. Deletion analyses have shown that the card domain and the TM domain are essential for the function of MAVES. Unlike the rig I card domains, overexpression of MAVES card domain is not sufficient to induce IFN beta. MAVES is located on the mitochondrial membrane. The card domain interacts with cards of RLRS for triggering signaling axis. When it was cut from mitochondria by HCVNS3-4A protease, RLR signaling activity would disappear. NOD9 is reported as an inhibitor of IPS1, which belong to NLR family member and is located on mitochondria, but recent studies showed that NOD9 is responsible for reactive oxygen generation. Therefore, the relationship of NOD9 and RLR signaling needs further studies. Part 5, there are two downstream signal axis of MAVES. There are two signal pathway downstream of MAVES. One of them is type 1 interferons production signal pathway, another is inflammatory cytokines production signal pathway. IPS1 activates downstream proteins TRAF3 and TRADE. TRAF3 activates ICI slash TBK1, then TBK1 demerize and pass signaling to downstream protein IRF3 and IRF7. IRF3 and IRF7 are phosphorylated and enter nucleus 2. Induce type 1 interferons production. TBK1 is composed of an N-terminal kinase domain, and three regulatory elements such as a ubiquitin-like domain, a demerization domain and a small protein interaction module at the C-terminus, named as adapter binding motif. The three domains, KD, ALD, and DD, join together to form a trimodular subunit and further assemble to a compact dimer. Upon stimulation, 
TBK1 is recruited to signaling complexes via its aid motif. Local clustering of TBK1 molecules allows interdimer KD interactions and leads to transautophosphorylation. Furthermore, conformational changes in TBK1 have been indicated to control its activation. However, how TBK1 activation is finally regulated remains elusive. Another signaling is activated by trade and FAD. Trade and FAD transmit signal to result in the cleavage of Caspas 8 and Caspas 10. This process activates NF kappa B to induce cytokines production. Both TRIF and IPS1 signaling pathways are regulating the IFN production and the expression of IFN induced genes. Part 6 We finally summarize the RNA virus's triggered signal pathway. RIGI recognize RNA viruses by detecting short DSRNAs with five single quote triphosphate ends. MDA5 recognize RNA viruses by detecting long DSRNAs. LGP2 positively regulates RIGI and MDA5 mediated virus recognition. Ubiquitin Legaz's TRIM25 positively regulates the activation of RIGI. RNF-125 negatively regulates the activation of RIGI. RIGI and MDA-5 interact with IPS-1 through card domains. IPS-1 then activates downstream signaling proteins TRAF-3, tbk one ikai and IRF-3 slash IRF-7 to induce type 1 Fns. Meanwhile, IPS-1 signaling induces nuclear translocation of NF-kappa B. Via trade and fat and caspasate and 10. A cleaved fragment of caspasate and 10 is responsible for the activation of NF kappa B. If you want more information, or you have any questions about signal pathways, recombinant proteins, or any other biological knowledges, please contact us via phone call or email. You can also log in our website. You can find me at www.creativebiomart.net for more information. Thank you for your attention.